<laughs> it totally falls into <laughs> Yeah, we like each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Richard and Judy. Just <laughs> 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 oh my so basically, we have three themes in Bristol Futures. And all of the three pathways that the online courses represent are really important issues for society. So I think this is one of the most exciting things that the University of Bristol has undertaken over many decades. Alongside the academic study, it does have the potential to be a bit of a game changer for us. I really enjoyed the variety of the courses. There were different videos, articles, research papers, and this variety helped to keep the courses interesting and stimulating. I've been really proud to work with students and colleagues right across the university, all disciplines, all ages, to identify what would be the distinctive set of skills that we would want our Bristol students to leave us with. We're providing a framework where students can develop their interests outside of their traditional degree areas. But we're facilitators, we're enablers. Really, it's putting, that, putting the power back in the hands of the student. Bristol Futures, to me, is, is, is absolutely essential if we want to, to properly educate a new generation that is, that is going to be prepared to tackle the real challenges that we face in society. If you're new to the world of higher education, it's quite straightforward, it's not intimidating, it's very accessible. There aren't the same pressures that might be there if, if it were part of your degree. What they do is they allow somebody to learn in the safety of their own home it will enable a lot more students at the University of Bristol to actually engage with these topics and engage early. And I found that actually managing them along with my course was not an issue. It's going to be about problem solving. Bristol Futures in some ways maybe introduces to our students mm. whose primary home will be within a discipline right, right. just this kind of sense of actually this is what interdisciplinarity Absolutely. looks like. This is kind of where it's going. These mm. are the opportunities. Mm -hmm. One of the things we're trying to do here is to create that multidisciplinary space so that we teach our students how to be really effective researchers when they're working at the intersection of different disciplines. And they're great topics as well, quite frankly. They're things people care about. Because one of the things that a, a, an employer will want to see is not just that you're, you're good at the thing you're studying, but what you can bring more broadly. What we're looking to do is to provide that other string to a student's employability bow. As a responsible educator, our job is to make sure they have the right tools to be successful over a longer period in their career. You're going to need it out there. You're, you're going to need it if you're going to tackle real world problems. I think the impact this could have on the University of Bristol is potentially huge. Not just them, we as well are going to have to have the ability to, to work with others in other disciplines and sometimes even step outside of our own discipline. Mm -hmm. So I think it's absolutely essential. And this is where I think modern education is heading. It's about the wider perspective about what you're getting out of your life now and what you're aiming to get out of your life in the future and what you're going to contribute to the world and society. And this is transformative for the university. We've never done anything like this before. I think what it does more than anything else is, is, is kind of open people's minds to the breadth of opportunities available to them. I think that's significant not just for their own development, not just for their own employability, but their their contribution as citizens. Well, I wish I was a student again. This is us taking an ambitious next step. I would have loved to have this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs>